Welcome to my channel, Lily Malian's Blur of Color. This will be my first video for makeup. I've done a few videos already for nail art. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. I will be doing a cremated meets glaminatrix. So I'll be using the Jeffree Star cremated palette. And I'll be using mm, green color and I guess the yellow of the Glaminatrix Easter collection, which is a duochrome collection with six colors and all of them have a gold undertone or change to gold. So if you're interested, keep watching and have fun. I am starting with the Hydro Girl Primer by Milk. As a foundation, I am using the KVD Vegan Beauty True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation in the color Light 010. And as a brush, I am using the Zoeva Grand Stippling Brush in the number 124. To set it all in place, I am using the setting powder by Jeffree Star in the color Fair. For the under eyes, I am using a fuzzy blender and for the rest of the face, I am using a big powder blush from Real Techniques. For my eyebrows, I am using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color top. And yes, for my brows, I really like these block eyebrows. I don't know what I like about them, but yes, that's the kind of eyebrow look I have for quite a while now. Before I use my eyeshadows, I am using the Wonder 2 Prime and Behold Eyeshadow Primer. I really like that stuff, it really helps for the eyeshadows to grip on my eyes. For my eyeshadows, I am starting with a cremated palette and I am using Life Insurance and a Morphe 502 brush and I am putting this color in the crease as my transition color.
I am also putting life insurance with the M502 from Morphe on my lower lash line. Next I am using Wednesday and still the Morphe M502 brush and I start putting this color in the outer corner of my eyelid and I'll be putting it in the inner corner of my eyelid because I am planning on doing a halo eye so I just want to keep the middle free. While I was applying Wednesday, I well felt that it was quite a little bit too light for what I was planning, so I just used another color later on over on top of it. And this color is RIP. Next I am switching to the Glaminatrix and the color Hopping and I also use a Morphe 124 brush which is a flat packing brush and I spritz the brush with uh, my MAC Fix Plus so I don't get at least hardly any fallout and then I am putting this beautiful color all over the middle part that I left free. In this step I am just using RIP and the M502 brush by Morphe to put it on my lower lash line to deepen it even more. Next I am using Chic and a small packing brush from the Morphe and Coca-Cola collection to put the color of this yellow into my inner corner. For my waterline, I am first using the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the color Screaming. And on top of that, I am using Vanilla from the Four Whites from NYX. As an eyeliner, I am using the Epic Ink Liner from NYX in black. I really like this because it has a brush tip and not a sponge tip and it really works fine. As a bronzer, I am using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula in the color Bronzer with a Real Techniques brush, which is named Dual Fiber Face Brush. As a blush, I am using one of the Glow Play blushes from MAC in the color Heat Index. I really like this hot pink color. It is a cream color, but it doesn't really show up this bright as it is in the pen. And as a brush, I am using one of the Real Techniques brushes. I can't read anymore which kind of which brush it was, but I think it was a blush brush. It works for it. Usually I contour before I put on blush and I have absolutely no clue why I put on blush before I contour, but well, never mind, I did it. 
For contouring, I am using the Three Steps to Contour by Catrice, and I'm using the contour color and just put it where I usually put my contour. And I am using the Morphe E4 brush for this. As a highlighter, I am using the Alien Eyes from the Platinum Eyes Confess Pro Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I am using a Morphe M501 brush to apply it. And only now, doing the voiceover, I've noticed that I didn't put any brow bone highlighter on my eyes. Usually I do that and this time I would have done it with the Alien Eyes, but well... I guess I just forgot it. So I have to live without a brow bone highlight today. As a mascara, I am using Bagdell Bang from Benefit. After I have put on my mascara, I am always using the Lash Brow Groomer from Real Techniques to separate my eyelashes so they, they don't look like spider legs. To finish off my face, I am using the Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. And I find for my oily skin, it really helps for it not to be so shiny as fast as without it. So it works quite well for me. And for my lips, I am using the liquid lipstick from Lethal Cosmetics in the color Wasteland. And that's it for the look. I hope you like it. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. See you next time.